As unemployment hovers around 10% and any sort of recovery seems to be forever and a day away, think about this. The one part of the economy that's going gangbusters during the Great Recession is government work. According to Recovery.gov, most of the 595,000 jobs that have been created or saved by the stimulus package have been in the public sector, with over two-thirds going to education. But far from stimulating us into any sort of recovery, public sector employees are killing the economy for at least three reasons. Federal workers make about $8,000 more in straight salary than their counterparts in the private sector. And they make about $30,000 more in health, pension, and other fringe benefits. State and local workers make comparable wages to private sector counterparts, but they make significantly more when benefits are factored in. The private sector has cut over 8 million jobs since the recession started in December 2007. Over the same period, the public sector saw a net gain of at least 100,000 jobs. The private sector adjusted changes in consumer demand by hiring and firing more people. The public sector just adds and adds workers because it's not subject to the same sort of bottom line pressures. Take a look at California, where the teachers' union has spent more than $211 million over the past decade on elections. We're twisting arms. We're threatening people. That's more than twice as much as the next biggest spender, which was another union. As a result, 40% of government spending in California must by law go to education. And in the past 10 years, taxpayer contributions to the state pension system have increased by 2,000%. And that sort of explosive growth is just getting started. For the first time ever, a majority of union members are now in the public sector. That means they'll be lobbying state houses and legislators even more for the sorts of big mandatory raises and absolute job security that workers in the private sector can only dream of. Because the public sector gets its money from taxpayers, everything it gains means less money for the rest of us to invest, to pay workers, or to save. And with the federal government in most states already deeply in the red, it's time to cut public sector payrolls and return more revenue to the private sector. That will generate more economic growth, which will help end the recession sooner than paying higher taxes for these government salaries. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.